can't really wrap my head around how that happened, that you entered the system at one and did not ultimately find an adoptive placement. All my life, I never knew why I never got adopted. You just <laughs> slipped through the cracks. Yeah, basically. That's a great day. Yeah, right? Hey there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're bananas here. Oh my gosh. It's your You've gotten banana. a lot bigger. Oh, no. When you're a certain age in foster care, like, infant to like maybe eight to ten years old um you hear the a word all the time you guys say the f word but i say the a word and that's adoption around 12 years old it went from talking about the a word to this long-term foster care plan they just stopped talking about it like it went from like hearing it almost every week or month or something, something like that to like crickets and um i remember uh, my last call of despair and i like asked my foster family if they would adopt me and they said no that was the last time that it was ever talked about when you turn 21 you age out of the foster care system i wrote a letter to my judge telling them that you know the system didn't follow through on their promise. What was that promise? That they would find a home where I would be loved or, you know, cared for. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Please have a seat. I'm going to call the matter of the adoption of a baby boy, and I want to welcome all of you to Department 17. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you ladies doing? Great. Excited? <laughs> yes. And I like your bow tie and your suspenders. You look so handsome. Now you're looking at the flags, right? Yeah. Yeah. So much well, to look at in here. Right, it's all very exciting, <laughs> huh? It's brand new. <laughs> well, anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to go over the paperwork, which you're familiar with, and I'll be asking you some questions. We're going to sign is the adoption agreement. Since he's uh, not 12 or older, he doesn't have to sign. <laughs> and if you're in agreement with that, please sign here and date it. <laughs> Are you Thank helping, you. Mom? Thank you. I'm going to give this back to the judge, okay? okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry okay. about the troll. <laughs> it's <laughs> left a little trail. It's Mark. <laughs> and he was here. We'll do a DNA sample later. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and sign this uh, termination of dependency order. And I also want to thank both of you for being foster adopt parents. Uh, we couldn't do our jobs unless people like you were willing to step forward, open up your home, give the child unconditional love, not knowing whether you're going to be able to adopt the child in the long run. So thank you so much. And I'm really happy for you to have this outcome. And the next thing we're going to do is the adoption order. And for the record, I have reviewed the file, and I believe that it's in his best interest to be adopted by both of you. You've been wonderful foster adopt parents. So by signing this document, I hereby declare you are now parent and child under the law with all the rights and duties of the parent-child relationship, but most importantly, all of the joys. <laughs> so congratulations. <laughs> Yay! Oh, he's excited. <laughs> Yay! Your hand. Congratulations. You. Thank you. Congratulations. You want to shake hands with the judge? No, no. <laughs> All right. Well, then, it. um, it's official. So let's come up here and take some congratulatory pictures. Yay! Will you take one? With your fancy. You got my hair. <laughs> 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 Yesterday at 9.20 a.m., we legally adopted this child eight months after becoming his foster parents. Yay! <laughs> this child is pure joy, and our hearts are bursting. As white parents of a mixed race, black and Filipino boy, we're hoping that you'll help hold us accountable to a few things. 
We will continue to do the work of acknowledging our own white privilege. We will not assume that you are cloaked in this privilege just because we are raising you. We will continue to speak out against white supremacy. We will continue to fight for racial justice and to push ourselves to do more. We'll also work to create a community that you can see yourself reflected in and to find teachers, coaches, and mentors that look like you. We'd like to take a moment now to introduce Jay's godmother, Avery Kleincloud. 16 years ago, I was your teacher, but for at least the last nine years, you have been mine. We're really lucky to count you as family and as one more person to love Jay. We'd like to say a few things about Jay's birth parents. The grief and the trauma that children suffer when they are separated from their birth parents is often invisible and goes unacknowledged. We promise to name it from the beginning. We promise to talk about it, to help you learn to hold love and loss at the same time. We will not ignore where you came from, your past, or your birth parents. We will speak about them with compassion and empathy. When they're ready, we will do everything in our power to create an open line of communication. So it's our understanding that Jay's birth parents had both converted to Islam fairly recently, and we wanted to hold space for them in this ceremony. So we've asked our friend Hiba Ahmed to perform a song, and it's called The Phoenix. shower, which means you can think of something that you want to bless the family with. Here we go. One, two, three. Yes, I heard it all. Now that we're officially Jay's adoptive family, we found ourselves really drawn to other families who share this experience. Remember back in season one when we talked about meeting Tracy, who was fostering the two cutest little girls? Well, she has since adopted them. So we went to pay them a visit and see how things were going. Hello. Hello. Yay! Hey. Oh, right, like you're camera shy, I bet. I bet. a little bit about your decision. I was adamant that I wanted siblings. I grew up as an only child, and so I wanted my kids to have siblings. Um, and I also thought just for the kind of historical context to like have somebody you'd always been with would be important when coming from foster care. And so I was, I was like, I really want a, a mixed race kid. And part of it was like, for me, you know, I am mixed race and I grew up with, um, two white parents, and so I kind of felt like I could give something to a mixed race mm -hmm. kid. Like, I can offer something that a white family can't, mm -hmm. and that even, like, you know, if they're part black, a full black family can't offer. So, yeah, so then I got lucky and ended up with mixed race kids. I mean, is there any advice that you would give to us? Because you look like you know what you're doing. <laughs> I'm glad I look that way. <laughs> it's funny, just the other day I was like, I don't know, I don't know if I'm doing this right. <laughs> But apparently that's what every parent says. Sure. How about you? You got advice for us? What do you think we should do? Um, give me a kiss. Give you a kiss? Mm. Mwah. Mm. Anything else? Mm -hmm. ah, I'm going to get a tattoo kiss. Get a tattoo. Okay. <laughs> this a is, tattoo kiss. This is a range of advice. <laughs> we know from the social workers that Jay has siblings. And seeing the bond that Tracy's kids have reminds us how much we want this for him. But the only way we can connect with his siblings is by connecting with his grandma. And it's been two months since we texted her. We haven't heard back. And we don't want to rush things. This is probably all really complicated for her. But maybe it's time to try again. Okay, so.
percent. We wanted to tell you about an organization doing phenomenal work called the Dave Thomas Foundation for Adoption. Their mission is to find permanent homes and loving families for children who have been in foster care the longest, including older youth, sibling groups, and children with special needs. Find out more at DaveThomasFoundation.org. And to learn about becoming a foster parent, volunteering, or other ways to support foster youth, go to FosterMore.org.